Ocean Concerts. This is a great turnout. Thank you for coming out. It's going to be short, but sweet. The students learn that it takes months of preparation, and then it's over in about five minutes. And uh, but I think you're going to be really, really impressed with our performances. The band behind me is our intermediate band. Can you stand up if you only started playing your instrument this school year?
beginners, right? That's not how they're supposed to sound. So coming up is our advanced band. And if you're lucky, they played two years ago at a winter concert. That's the last sit down. And while they're getting themselves situated, um, do we need help with tape or are we okay? JC? Okay, okay. I have two things I want to let you guys know about. The first is we do have a donation fishbowl that uh, a quarter, a dollar, a big check, anything that you might like to put in that fishbowl would be greatly appreciated. This concert is wonderful and I'm happy to have it, but we weren't able to have our fundraiser, which would normally occur during this time, our fall festival. So we're hoping to bring in a little bit of funds. All of the money will go towards whatever kind of spring celebration COVID allows. I have a trip to King's Dominion booked, but I haven't booked any buses yet. So I haven't put any money towards the trip yet. I have to know positively for sure that it can happen. If it doesn't look good, I'm thinking a pool party, or we had a great time at a picnic last year. So we will have some kind of end of the year celebration because these kids work really, really hard, and we are one big CMS band family, right? Yeah. yeah. Before the intermediate band plays, I want to let everybody know, I have an announcement, I don't want to forget to do this. So I, uh, Mr. Bell is behind, wait Mr. Bell, this is our fine arts supervisor. And he asks the fine arts teachers to nominate an arts, a, a, a teen, what is it? Arts teen of the week. Is that right? Okay, an arts teen of the week. It's a really great way to bring the arts to the spotlight. We need advocates, we need supporters, we need people in the program. So it's a great way to get some um, publicity. And so I have chosen a student for the arts teen of the week, and they don't know who they are. So I wanted to make that announcement tonight. Uh, the person I nominated is someone who has taken a, a small leadership role that I gave and run with it. She is our drum captain. And we haven't had a marching band for two years. So when it was time for homecoming and we needed a drum line, we didn't have a cadence. And I just thought, okay, we'll just give a drum beat. And she comes back to school two days later and she's created an entire cadence with the snare drum and the bass drum and the cymbal part, and she's already started teaching it to the other kids. And I had nothing to do with it, and that kind of leadership was just so impressive. So McKenna Fellows. <laughs> but she will be at some point she will be in the paper as an arts team of the week mr bell's really good about sending me like the links to the article so that you can see it um if i get a chance to nominate somebody else i already have a line a list in my head uh there's too many kids to choose from but i'll try to narrow it down okay the uh the first one that the advanced band is going to play for you is called halloween waltz in five it's a little bit challenging because it's written in a meter of five beats per measure, which is a little uncomfortable. We like things that are even, that are in groups of two, and so to be in five is a little weird. Um, you could hear some uncomfortable notes that are on purpose. There could be screaming. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Um, 
Thank you very much for coming. 